when managing a patient on mechanical ventilation, it's crucial to carefully interpret their ABG results to guide your clinical decisions. These values provide insight into the patient's respiratory status, revealing whether ventilation or oxygenation needs adjustment. You really should keep watching because this video breaks down a practice question that will challenge your ability to analyze ABG results and make precise adjustments to the ventilator settings. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A female patient weighing 60 kilograms or 132 pounds and standing 165 centimeters or 5 feet 5 inches tall is receiving invasive mechanical ventilation in volume control assist control mode with the following settings. An FIL2 of 40%, mandatory rate of 12, total rate of 12, tidal volume of 380 milliliters, peak inspiratory pressure of 28, and a PEEP of 5. Her ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.3, PACO2 of 50, PAO2 of 80, bicarb of 24, base excess of negative 1, and an SAO2 of 97%. Which of the following would you recommend? A. Increase the mandatory rate to 16. B. Increase the tidal volume to 480 milliliters. C. Increase the PEEP to 8 centimeters of water pressure. Or D. Increase the FIO2 to 50%. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break down. The first step for this question is to interpret the patient's ABG results, which indicate respiratory acidosis. This is evidenced by a low pH of 7.3 and an elevated PaCO2 of 50. This suggests the patient is hypoventilating, meaning they are not expelling enough CO2. To correct this, you need to increase the minute ventilation which can be achieved by either increasing the mandatory rate or tidal volume. The most effective and safest option is to increase the mandatory rate from 12 to 16 breaths per minute. This will increase the total minute ventilation, allowing the patient to expel more CO2 and thereby reducing the PaCO2 levels, which will correct the respiratory acidosis. While increasing the tidal volume could also help with ventilation, the patient's current peak inspiratory pressure is already at 28 centimeters of water pressure. So raising the tidal volume could push the peak inspiratory pressure higher, increasing the risk of barrel trauma or volutrauma. Therefore, it's better to optimize the rate first. The patient's oxygenation, which is a PaO2 of 80, and an SAO2 of 97% is adequate, therefore adjusting the PEEP is not necessary. Furthermore, there's no need to increase the FIO2 since the oxygenation is sufficient. The main issue here is ventilation, not oxygenation. So by reading the question carefully and breaking down the information that was provided, we can determine that the correct answer has to be A increase the mandatory rate to 16. The key takeaway for this question is this. For patients with respiratory acidosis due to hypoventilation on mechanical ventilation, the priority is to increase their minute ventilation. This can be achieved by raising the respiratory rate, which in this case is safer than increasing the tidal volume in terms of preventing lung injury. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. 
Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.